Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I've got a big important update for prefab homes in the Western states. It's been an interesting year in the prefab home industry as companies with big demand make moves to expand their output in an effort to get homes to people trying to buy. Something that seems to get prefab home shoppers heated is the time it takes from ordering to actually getting the new home if they're dealing with a company that has a backlog. And I get it, waiting for something that you wanted yesterday is an annoyance. There are likely companies with no backlog that'll get you home tomorrow, but that's like going to the empty restaurant when the one across the street has a lineup. The path of least resistance isn't always the best choice. In my experience, when a prefab home company gets booked out too far, they'll either increase prices or production, and I always hope for the latter. Moves to increase production have been happening a lot lately, and one company recently announced a new space that'll allow them to build 600 homes per year. The company I'm talking about is called Stack Homes with their recent acquisition and new facility. What I'm gonna do is bring you up to speed on the company, let you know why it's exciting, and check in on their pricing right after a word from today's sponsor. Have you ever wondered how people are getting your personal info and making their way into your inbox with the latest scam? Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who might want to find out more about you. And it's annoying. I'm constantly deleting unwanted emails and that's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it hard to do. Let Aura handle it for you. You can try Aura for free for two weeks using my link. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats that you can't see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. I've been struggling to remember all my different passwords since they stopped letting me use password as my password. You get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on tasks with peace of mind. Go to aura.com forward slash carry to start your free two week trial today. Also linked down below in the description. A couple weeks ago, Stack Homes dropped the news on their IG about a new manufacturing facility in Salt Lake City. The caption says, possibility. That's what we saw when we first stepped foot into the new building that would become our new manufacturing facility in Salt Lake City, Utah. This space with build out of high tech production lines enables us to build over 600 homes per year and will be our showroom location as well. We hope to see many of you here. That right there is what you call an open invite, folks sign up for the tour. I don't know what their current output is, but 600 homes per year is a hefty number and will open up some build slots for the Western states. According to Builder, it's all part of an acquisition stack made of modules LLC, and they'll be opening a new division called Stack Modular Development. If you haven't heard of Stack, they're a Utah-based company that was founded in 2019 to disrupt the construction industry. You know how I know the construction industry is ready for a bit of a shakeup? the amount of people setting out to disrupt it. If I had a quarter for every time I heard construction was archaic, I'd probably have enough for a $5 footlong by now, maybe even a combo. Their website says Stack Homes designs and builds luxury modular dwellings for the conscious and imaginative home buyer. An evolution in housing is upon us and today homes can be built more swiftly and with unprecedented energy efficiency. I've been following Stack for a while now because I like the look of their homes and it seems like they've been busy all over the place. Their delivery map includes everything from Montana to New Mexico West, which according to the analytics on YouTube is where a lot of people are watching from. Before this acquisition took place, to my knowledge, they had a manufacturing manufacturing partner, which is a fairly common business model, and they may still be working with them, but according to the article in Builder, their plan is to bring manufacturing in-house. The founder, Sumner Douglas, was quoted in the article saying, it has been our plan to bring manufacturing in-house to deliver the best quality and timelines to our clients. The acquisition of modules provides a next level opportunity to allow us to expand our product offerings to provide modular solutions in more areas of the housing industry. This knowledgeable team, combined with cutting edge technology enhancements, we are outfitting in our new factory will make us one of the most capable modular builders in the country. Talk about making moves. I think this is the exact same thing Plant Prefab did. Steve Glenn got into the industry by sourcing homes from different manufacturers before eventually deciding that he'd be better off building them himself. Seems to have worked out well for Steve and Plant Prefab so far. Now they've got multiple factories and from the outside looking in, things look great. If you think about a company that's sourcing their homes from a manufacturer and selling them to their clients, they're most likely one of any number of customers buying from that manufacturer and the manufacturer has to service all the home buyers in a way that's 
logical and fair. For example, if build slots are limited, they might get allocated evenly or larger companies might get preferential treatment, but those are decisions made by the manufacturer that affect everyone's business. So at the end of the day, when buying from a manufacturer, the service they're able to give their customers could be affected by decisions that are completely out of their control. Again, I have no information specific to their manufacturing relationships, but I know if they wanna do things exactly how they wanna do them, they have to be prepared to manufacture their own homes and it sounds like that's what they'll do. There has been talks, but it'll be interesting to see what's included for automation and how much their process will change from what they're doing now, if at all. Now that everyone's up to speed and sat through my speculation session, let's see what's going on with their homes. I've done a video on stack homes before and thought I had most everything covered, but imagine my surprise when I went to the website to find out all the models have changed. Panic. After a quick investigation, turns out they haven't changed the floor plans, only the floor plan names. Whew. I think Stack has done a great job of differentiating themselves from a lot of the other options currently available with a combination of features, designs, and beliefs. For example, it doesn't take much time on their site to see that sustainability is something they take seriously. It says we're inspired to make homes that are truly sustainable, reaching beyond appealing labels to embody a conscious company. It goes on to say that future Stack homes will include built-in solar panels and smart features to reduce energy use throughout the day. Seems like a hint at one of the changes planned for when they start manufacturing. I can't really go an entire video without showing any of their homes and it turns out there's a plan I missed in the last one that when combined with one of their other offerings would make a sweet little setup. When I did the first video, the plans were named after the size of the home, but now they're all called Ridgeline something. The home I missed is now called the Ridgeline Suite. The Ridgeline Suite has dimensions of 20 by 24 for a footprint of 480 square feet in which they have a kitchen, bedroom, living space, closet, and bathroom. The way the plan is set up, the entrance is on the front into a 19 by 15 foot living space bedroom. On the plan and in the renderings, the bed is set in the middle of the space from side to side with access to the bathroom on one side and access to the closet on the other. I think it would make sense to have either a Murphy bed or convertible couch in a space like this. So when not in use as a horizontal sleeping surface, you can do your daytime routine, whatever that might be. If you're standing at the front of the home looking towards the back, the bathroom is on the left and has a walk-in shower, double sink, and toilet. To the right of the bed is the closet, which looks to be more than enough space for my t-shirt collection. I don't know for sure if it's just shown in the renderings or if it's what buyers actually get, but it's got built-ins throughout the home that look awesome. Storage is a concern for people living in a smaller space and the Ridgeline suite has more than most. It's noted in the standard features that storage is included in the kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom. Just not sure if that includes the the walk-in closet. Here's the thing, there are only so many ways to set up a studio, but the extras added in by Stack set this one apart. They keep it short and sweet on the description. It says, a spacious modular studio or primary bedroom for your existing home. If it were me and I was either buying the Ridgeline Studio for myself to live in or to use as an ADU, I would combine it with one of their garages so I could park underneath and live up top. I think that would be a great setup for a guy like me. I don't have a lot of stuff, but any storage concerns would be handled. I'd have somewhere to park and I'd have a holding area for for the junk that I'll end up getting rid of eventually that I still think I might need at some point in time like the giant sky blue suitcase that's in my current holding area. Who needs that? Honestly, I think it's smart that Stack offers garages by themselves or as an add-on for their homes because people have stuff and I can't be the only one sitting on a bit of junk. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna check out their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The Ridgeline Suite has a base price of $180,000 and the 20 by 24 garage to match costs $64,000. Keep in mind the garage price might come with some extra cost for setup and delivery. It looks like Stack Homes is taking their manufacturing in-house and plans to increase their output to over 600 homes per year. I don't have a timeline on when they'll get to that output, but anytime moves are made to make more homes available, I think it's good news. People are constantly asking about options for the Western states and this is one that's been fun to watch. I like the look of their homes and think they'll be making more announcements to what they offer going forward so I'll definitely be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.